Hey, you missed me because I missed you. We're gonna be doing a get ready with me. I'm gonna give you the deets on my updated makeup routine. These little clips literally make me feel so professional. How do I look? Starting off with a clean face. I have no products on my face. I wanted to show you guys my skincare routine first and then we'll jump into my makeup. And I only use three products. I use Summer Friday's eye cream and this stuff has helped me so much. I used to have like really dry under eyes and my makeup would always look so like dry and cakey. Second product is the It Bye Bye Pores Serum and it has glycolic, glycolic acid and hyaluronic acid. It has helped my pores pores so much because my mama has big pores so I got big pores. It has definitely been helping reduce them in size before I could just see my makeup seep into my pores and I was like girl. The last product I go in is with a moisturizer and I am obsessed with moisturizers that have SPF. This one is by Keys Soul Care and it's called Protect Your Light Daily Moisturizer and it has SPF 30. I'm almost running out which I'm really sad about because it's actually pretty good. And it doesn't leave a white cast which I also love. Do not forget your neck and your duck lache. Moisturize even your neck. Have you guys seen that one movie? Oh, what is it called? Oh, my big fat Greek wedding, and they're like hold their necks. I'm like, alright, DDs. Now that my skin is all ready to go, I use two primers. The first one I go in with is the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer, and this one is Illuminate. You can already see my skin like glowing. Then I like to go in with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Do you see how sticky that is? For foundation, I literally love these foundations. They are like the creamiest foundations I have ever used before and I'm obsessed. These are from Bosma and I'm in the shade 035 and 032 depending on if it's like winter or summer. I am currently mixing both of these colors just because I'm not quite sure where I'm at. I'm like in the mixture, now that summer's over I'm starting to lose my tan, but in the winter I literally get pale white, so. And I love that they're sticks. I just love that I can just like, ooh. You're so beautiful too. To blend this out, I love to use this brush. This is like my favorite brush and it has my heart. This is the It Cosmetics number no. seven brush and it has a fluffy side for the foundation and then it has like a smaller side for like if you wanna blend out your concealer or really maybe like your nose contour, just like a smaller brush. Now, I love to add a spritz of setting spray, maybe like a couple spritz of setting spray on my brush to like make it moist, you know what I mean? I use the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set Refresh Spray. And I just like to blend that in. There's a few questions that I got from my Instagram that I want to answer for you guys. One of the questions is, what do you do for fun? I honestly like to just chill and like go out with my boyfriend. I love kind of just being at home, watching like a good series and eating like a good meal, you know what I mean? Especially now in Michigan, when the weather gets like this, like that's all we can do. Do you see how easily that's blending out? And it looks literally like skin. This brush literally just works wonders. It Cosmetics, number seven. Don't forget. Yes, I may be a little pale, but just hang in there with me. Next, I go in with my concealer. Now this concealer, is literally my favorite. I keep saying that about all these products, but I'm so serious. They like make my skin look so good and so smooth and dewy. This is the Kosas Concealer and I am in the shade 02W. Literally has my heart and my soul. Love this. Other than like the e.l.f. concealers, this is like my favorite. Like this is so creamy. I don't even know how, but I just put that underneath my eye. Just like that. Beautiful, beautiful. While that sits, I like to just spray it with some setting spray. Literally my secret. Boom. Once I let this sit, I like to go in with my bronzer slash contour. This is from Thread. I believe it's a foundation stick, but I use it as bronzer. And it's Thread Face It Complexion Stick in the shade 150 Medium Deep Cool. Now, when I tell you this blends like butter, oh my gosh, it blends like butter. Like, I'm not even joking with you. This stuff really is so good. Just do two down here, you know, just to get me right. I'm gonna add a little bit more here. Don't look at me crazy. I'm telling you this stuff blends like butter. To blend my concealer and my contour bronzer out, I love to use a wet beauty blender. It just makes it all more seamless and dewy. Like I said, dewy is my keyword. I use the e.l.f. beauty blender. I believe this is from their Cookies and Cream collection. And I feel like once I let the concealer sit for a little bit, it gets tacky. <laughs> You see how smooth and easily that blends it out? That's how much a wet beauty blender for me makes a difference. If you haven't tried it, try it. I like to go back in and do my nose contour and we're gonna get her snatched, okay? Add the two lines as close as possible to my like center of my nose. 
Maybe that was a little close, but don't worry, we're gonna fix it. Let me blend this out first, and then we're gonna add the concealer to brighten that up. Now that she's all contoured up, we're gonna add some concealer to make her really snatch. We're gonna do the point of my nose, down the bridge of my nose. Look how cute she looks. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So now we're gonna add some cream blush. I have to do all my creams first and then I go in with my powders. One of my favorite cream blushes is the Rare Beauty. They're literally so creamy. I like to use the liquid one. This is in the shade Believe. This blush is just too good. I'm obsessed. I like to smile just so I can get the apples of my cheek. A little goes a long way with this product, so just be careful how much you're putting on because then you'll have like a whole patch of red. I like to add some setting spray onto my beauty blender. Just a few spritz. I like to use the round side of my beauty blender. As you can tell, it's like really red. I like to smile and blend. <laughs> smile and blend, boys. Just smile and blend. <laughs> Just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. While we're blending, let's answer a another question. What is your day-to-day -day routine? My day-to-day -day routine, that's a good one. I usually wake up around like seven or eight. I get up, I let my dogs out, and then after that, I wake my boyfriend up, I make him some breakfast, and then we head to the gym. And then after that, I come home and I change, and then we head to our other house that we're currently remodeling. I kind of spend most of my days there unless I have like a content creating day where I just stay at home. Now it's time to powder the face. I like to use the Laura Mercier setting powder. They sent me this, which I'm so grateful for. Thank you so much. Half of the makeup that I'm using was sent to me and I'm so appreciative and literally it's so bomb. Like I wouldn't be telling you guys this if it wasn't. This stuff is so light and airy. I apply the powder with this brush and this is from Alumar, I believe. Alumar, I don't know how to pronounce it. And I just dip that in a little bit of powder and then I kind of just Tap the excess powder away. I don't really like to over powder. I like to just add enough because I feel like I get really dry and patchy in some areas. I wanna set underneath my eye. I have been thinking about doing some Pilates classes, but I'm not sure. I would love to make a video of like doing Pilates. My favorite audio right now on TikTok is, nobody move, there's blood on the floor. And I can't find my heart. Ooh, that audio just tickles my brain. I also like to set my smile lines. My smile lines crease like nobody's business. I hate it, I hate it. I like to go in with my bronzer and I like to just kind of redo the bronzer. I just kind of use a product that's already on my brush because I don't want to add too much product. So whatever was on the brush from last time that I didn't use, I like to kind of just go back in. And it's a fluffy brush by Morphe. It accidentally already scratched off. I just like to go in and kind of blend everything out. I'm really been into like the natural makeup the base is pretty much done. Now I'm gonna add some stuff for my eyebrows. I like to use the IT Cosmetics Brow Filler. And this has like a little brush that you can brush up your brows with. And I love it, I'm so obsessed. And that may be in a beauty guru. I don't want my brows to be too dark. I just want them to be brushed up enough and have a little, little, little bit of product so it makes them darker. I love this little brush. It just fits perfectly on my brow. My absolute favorite part, now that I've got my lashes, I use some lash serum to grow my lashes. I will link it below. It grew my lashes very well. For mascara, I like to either use my It Cosmetics Hello Lash Mascara or I like to use my Lift and Define 5D Lash by Revolution. This one's kind of busted because I've had it for a minute and it's been like tumbling and tossing in my makeup bag so it's kind of already like faded away. Let me tell you a little hack or a little secret if you did not know this. The mascara wands that have like the tinier bristles, these will lift and elongate your lashes to the max. When they're little like that, they will grab onto your lashes and make them longer. I'm telling you, like little brushes like this. I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetic Mascara. They just sent me this and I'm literally obsessed. I've used this mascara before in the past and I ran out and I was so sad. <gasps> I was so sad, but they sent me some more. So now I'm like, okay girl. That's just one coat and you can literally see the difference. I like to let that one coat dry first and I'll go in a second time. Nobody move, there's blood on the floor. And uh, can't find my top. Let me answer another question. Are you going to get married too soon? Question mark. I do not know when I'm gonna get married. I kind of want to have my career all settled before I get married. Me and my partner are very, very career orientated. We want to make sure that we're successful before we get married. I remember when, like, when I was smaller, I wanted like a really big wedding. Like I wanted like a big ass wedding and people to come and like everybody to be there. And now I just want something small. I want something small and I want us to kind of just enjoy our honeymoon. I don't know. I used to be a very big celebration person and I kinda, I've kind of like dwindled down. Like I'll go all out for other people's birthdays, but like for my birthday, I, I kind of don't want much. I don't know. 
And I used to be like a person that always wanted like the extreme for those type of things. I care what nobody says, but the left side always looks worse than the right side. I feel like the right side just lays. And the left side, I'm like, girl, you need some help. Oh my God, get out of here, get out of here. Let's harmonize. Did you guys ever do that when you were little? Or even now, I harmonize with like literally everybody. I'm like, let's harmonize, and then we harmonize. That is my love language. I love harmonizing with people. Even though I can't really sing, okay? Last thing I would say is my lips. For lips, I use lip liner. I believe I got it from my local beauty store. It's the Pagliato. I have no idea. I think I got it from my local beauty store because I have no idea what brand that is. It's in the color Cranberry. <laughs> I crack myself up every time I hold something. I'm like this. I'm like, look at my product. I need to sharpen it. So I need to find a sharpener real quick and then we can get back to this. I literally cut myself trying to uh, sharpen this. So I sharpened it a little bit. I didn't have a sharpener, so I had to bring out a knife. And you know, you know how crazy that can get. I don't have an upper lip. I like to exaggerate a little bit on, on the top of lip. Just give it a little, you know, oomph, a little plump. Ooh, that definitely worked. Okay. You see, now I have a top lip. Like, okay then. Not gonna lie, my top lip has been like my insecurity. If I can get anything done to my face, I would definitely do lip fillers on my top lip. It's like non-existent. Like, I used to be obsessed with those those sucker things that were like in 2016 like everybody wanted to have lips like Kylie Jenner okay like my finger is bleeding way more than I thought I was gonna bleed so give me a little second to regroup regroup because I'm kind of freaking out and I had caffeine so I'm like really shaky for lips we're gonna do a little mixy mixy between the milk makeup electric gloss lip plumper and also to make our lips even more plumper we're gonna use the grande lips hydrating lip plumper call me crazy all you want but I'm gonna use a double lip plumper okay that's the only right way to do your lips this gloss is literally so pretty. Let me doing the brownie lips. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go in with the grande lips. How cute. How cute. For my last final touch, I'm gonna go back in with my setting spray and set everything together. I'm using the milk hydration setting spray that I used earlier. And I give myself just a few spritz. I'm definitely feeling myself. A thumbnail. Okay guys, take down my clips. This is the finished look. Let me bring you guys in close so you can see. I'm literally obsessed with this look and it's perfect for I feel like any season, any time. I will link everything down below, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel, girlies. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Turn your post notifications on so you know when I post. So you can be like, hey girl, let me see what you're doing. And I will see you in the next one.